In this problem, we have 100 grams of a, quote, typical Pittsburgh seam coal that has a molar composition of C6.32, H5, N0.11, S0.05, O0.66. It is burned with 20% excess air and combustion is complete. What are the concentrations of the products in the exhaust gas? First of all, combustion is complete means that we know what the products are going to be. All the carbon in the fuel goes to CO2. All the hydrogen goes to water, H2O. All the nitrogen goes to N2. All the sulfur goes to SO2. And all the oxygen goes to O2. The first step here is to find the stoichiometric amount of air required. So we'll start out by writing our combustion equation where we have C6.32 H5 N0.11 S0.05 O0.66. We're going to add the air, some x moles of O2 plus 3.76 N2. And then the products are going to be 6. 0.32 CO2, because we had 6.32 carbons in the coal, and they all go to CO2, plus 2.5 waters, H2O, because we had five hydrogens in the fuel, and they all go to water, plus 0.05 SO2, plus some number of moles, I'll call N sub N2, of nitrogen. There's no O2 in the exhaust because we're we're assuming we're doing this for stoichiometric conditions where we have exactly the amount of oxygen that we need. Now, in order to calculate X, we're going to do a balance on oxygen. So on the reactant side, we have 0 0.66 moles from the coal plus two times X from the air, and that equals two times 6.32 from the CO2 plus 2.5 from the water, plus 2 times 0 0.05 from the SO2. And then I can solve that and get X equals 7.29. That's if we had the stoichiometric amount of air, but in fact, we are using excess air. So now we apply that excess air and we increase this by 20%. And so we take 1.2 times 7.29, and we get 8.75. So that, that's the number of moles that we're going to burn the coal with. And now I can write the combustion equation where we have C6.32 H5 N. 0.11, S0.05, O0.66, being burned with 8.75 moles of air, which is O2 plus 3.76 N2, giving us products, which are 6.32 CO2 plus 2.5 H2O plus 0.05 SO2, same as we had before, but now we have some number of moles of O2, I'm calling it N sub O2, and we have some number of moles N sub N2 of N2. Notice that this is a different N2 than in the previous slide, because in the previous slide we had assumed um, stoichiometric conditions And this O2 appears due to the excess air. Now we need to figure out what are the values of these. 
And we can do that by performing a balance on the oxygen and a balance on the nitrogen. So this is a new balance. And again, we have 0 0.66 moles from the coal. We have two times, now it's 8.75 moles of O2. And that's equal to two times 6.32 from the CO2 plus 2.5 from the water plus two times 0 0.05 from the SO2 plus some number of two times some number of moles of O2 in the exhaust. I can solve for this NO2 and I get 1.46. Notice that this is also equal to our stoichiometric number of moles, which was 7.29 times 0.2, which was the excess air. This makes sense because we are burning with 20% excess air, and so that same 20% is going to come out in the exhaust as unused nitrogen. And now we can do a balance on the nitrogens to figure out what our value of, or what our number of moles of N2 that comes out in the exhaust is. So I have 0.11 moles in the coal plus 2 times 8.75 times 3.76 from the air, and that is equal to 2 times N sub N2. And I can solve for N sub N2, and I get 32.96. So now I have my, my total combustion reaction is I have coal plus air. I'm not going to write them all out again going to 6.32 CO2 plus 2.5 H2O plus 0 0.05 SO2 plus 1.46 O2 plus 32.96 N2. Now, if I want to find out the concentration of each of those components in the exhaust, I need to first figure out the total number of moles of exhaust. So I'm going to add these all up and then use take the ratios to figure out the concentrations. So my total number of moles is 6.32 plus 2.5 plus 0 0.05 plus 1.46 plus 32.96, which is equal to 43 0.29, total number of moles of exhaust. And now for each component, I can figure out its molar concentration or volumetric concentration by taking the ratio of its number of moles to the total. So for CO2, I have 6.32 divided by 43.29, which gives me 14.6%. For water, I have 2.5 moles divided by 43.29% moles, which gives me 5.8%. And then for SO2, if I do the math, I get 0.1%. For O2, it's 3.4%. And for N2, it's 76.1%.